Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, so we have 2x over square root of x to be equal to 4. This looks difficult, right? But is it? Okay, let's deal with it. This could be over 1 and we can equally cross multiply so that if we do that, we will have um, 4 root x to be equal to 2x times 1 and that is 2x. Now, what do I do? The first thing I'm going to do is trying to remove this, to remove the square root from here by squaring this and equally squaring this. Now, this and this will cancel. So we have 4x. Oh, okay. This is supposed to be 4 squared because this square will affect this and x here will now be alone. This will be equal to um, 2x squared. Now, if you fail to square the 4, then you have a wrong answer. So here now we're going to have 16x, which will be equal to... And then just like this, in this case now, 2 and x are both having the square here. So it's going to be 2 squared first, which will give 4, and then x squared. Okay, now you can arrange this again to get 4x squared to be equal to 16x. Now somebody will tell you that you can cancel 1x and cancel this. But then you will be wrong because you're going to have just one solution. This is a quadratic equation and as such we should have three solutions, right? Okay, bring everything to the left. So we have 4x squared minus 16x to be equal to 0. Okay. Now in this case, what is common to both of them is, okay, 4 is here and 4 can be found in 16, right? So that means I can bring out the 4. x is here and x is over there. So bring x out as a common factor. Now open this bracket x, 1x has come out, so it's only x that will remain over there, then minus 4 into 16 will have 4, and then x has come out, then this will be equal to 0. And at this point, we apply 0 product rule to say that 4x is either equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. If we continue from here, our x will be equal to 0 over 4, or x is equal to 0 plus 4. And remember that whenever you have the denominator to be a number greater than 0, that means it is correct, okay? But if you have 4 over 0, it's going to be undefined. So we can equally get the value of x for here, which will be 0. 0 over 4 is 0, or on this side, x will be 0 plus 4 and that will give 0. Therefore, x is equal to 0 or 4. But now, let's check. Does it mean that the two solutions will satisfy the original equation? Let's go back to the original equation. Okay, so this is the original equation. And then these are the solutions. We have x to be 0 or 4. Now, if you substitute 0 into this, you're going to have 2 multiplied by 0 over square root of 0. Will this be equal to 4? Mm, never will it be equal to 4 because at the end of the day, you're having 0 over 0, right? And this cannot be equal to 4. And as a matter of fact, this is an indication that um, x equals 0 does not satisfy the equation, right? Now, let's try the second solution, which is x equals 4. Okay, so in this case, that means we'll have 2 multiplied by 4 over square root of 4. Okay, so will this be equal to 4? Now, the answer will be yes, because this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 4 
over the square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, and then 2 can cancel this, and at the end, we have 4 as our answer. So, this is the confirmation that x is equal to 4 satisfies the equation, and it is the only solution that satisfies the equation 2x over square root of x equal to 4. Thank you for watching.